Welcome to this demonstration on how to repackage any existing installation, like setup.exe, into the Windows Installer Package. The purpose of this video tutorial is to show how easy to recapture Mozilla Firefox X Installer, as an example, into MSI Package with help of PaySuite version 4.1. In order to get your copy of PaySuite Packaging Tool, visit their product website at PaySuite.com. Click on Download Free Trial and fill in the form to download fully functional 30 days trial version of PaySuite. After the installation, you will find three shortcuts on your desktop. It is worth mentioning that PaySuite is out of box solution that does not require any configuration and does not have software dependencies, like SQL database, or whatever. Launch MSI Generator. Click Create Package. Choose the snapshotting option, if your source installation requires system restart, otherwise, leave selected by default the monitoring option and click Repackage. Click Browse to choose your source installation, which you want to repackage. And click Run. Follow Dialog's instructions to complete your source installation. If needed, configure installed application according to your needs. And only after that, click Finish Capturing. After capturing is completed, all your system changes are filtered and saved to the project. We recommend to review captured resources, like files, registry, services, and exclude unnecessary ones, which are not a part of this package. With this aim, open the Files tab, and go through the Folders tree located in the left pane. Find those files and folders, which you think, do not belong to the captured installation, and exclude them from the project, selecting Exclude from the Context menu. Usually these are logs, cache, system files, and etc. The right pane contains excluded files and folders. By default, MSI Generate uses predefined filters for excluding unnecessary resources. You can manage predefined filters in the main menu, Settings. Note that you can include back any excluded resources at any time. For this, choose an item in the right pane and select Include from the context menu. Next, go to the Registry tab and check the registry entries located in the left pane. Find those registry keys, which you think also do not belong to the captured installation, and exclude them from the project, selecting Exclude from the context menu. If you are not sure about certain registry entry, leave it included. The right pane contains excluded registry entries. By default, MSI Generate uses predefined filters for excluding unnecessary resources. You can manage predefined filters in the main menu, Settings. Note that you can include back any excluded resources at any time. For this, choose an item in the right pane and select Include from the context menu. Open the System Resources tab to check Captured, Services, Printers, and Environment Variables. In this view, find services, which you think, do not belong to the captured installation, and exclude them from the project, unticking the checkbox, located before the service name. In order to include the service back, tick this checkbox. Switch to the printers view to discover, if there are some captured printers you need to exclude, or include to the project. Open to the, environment variables, view to check captured variables. Here you can add new items, or modify existing ones. The Permissions tab displays captured permissions for the file system and registry. The same as for all other resources, you can exclude and include permissions by ticking or unticking the checkboxes before each permission entry. In this example, no any permission changes were captured. Go to the Shortcuts tab to see Captured Application Shortcuts. By default, some items could be excluded by predefined exclusion filters, mentioned before. If needed, exclude a shortcut by unticking the checkbox, located before the shortcut name. Also, check the Properties tab, where you can add additional properties.
or find which of hard codes inside configuration files were automatically detected and will be replaced with MSI properties. This useful feature will help to maintain your package in future. Finally, go back to the Package tab. In order to generate the MSI package with default settings, click Build MSI or click Edit Next to the MSI Settings Profile field to view and modify build package options. The General tab allows to manage such options as selecting basic MSI template, cab compression type, MSI code page, and filling in MSI file hash table. Enter here default summary information, which should be propagated to each created MSI package. Use the Registry tab to control how your advertising information will be saved to the MSI. If you tick the checkbox before the table name, it means that this table will be used for storing respective data, otherwise the Registry table will be used. Also, choose how ABC data and Windows services will be saved via the specially designed tables or directly via the Registry table. The Shortcuts tab serves enabling and disabling additional exclusion rules for the desktop, quick launch, and uninstall shortcuts. Also, here you can select which of shortcuts will be advertised or regular ones. On the Properties tab, specify MSI properties you want to be added to each created MSI package. In this view, you can control how per user information will be saved your MSI, namely, set names for per user feature and components, or enable auto applying the active setup for storing per user data. Use the Merge Modules tab to add your local or network folder with MSM files. During the package building, MSI Generator will replace captured resources with respective merge modules, which were found in specified pools. This tab represents default behavior and settings of storing captured permission changes to the MSI package. The available options are Custom Action Details, Component Name, Security Template File and others. And the last tab serves what type of data and how they will be saved to the transform file if you choose MST as output package type. For example, you can untick checkboxes next to properties and features so that only updates to files and registry will be saved to your transform file. Save your changes made to this profile. In order to build the MSI package, click Build MSI. This dialog displays files which do not longer exist on the system and could not be copied to the package. Untick the checkbox located in the header to exclude them all from the project and then click retry to continue. That is all. Your package is created. Find the MSI in the project folder or click go to to open containing folder in the Windows Explorer. We have got pure working MSI package of Mozilla Firefox using the create package functionality of MSI generator which is part of PaySuite. As you can see, PaySuite is a high performance, powerful and ease of use with intuitive user interface packaging tool. Subscribe for our channel, wait for next video tutorials and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.